Each year, Christians throughout the world celebrate Holy Week, the most significant period in the Christian calendar. Holy Week commemorates the last week of the life of Jesus Christ, his crucifixion, and his resurrection from the tomb. During this same time each year, Jews around the world celebrate Passover, the most significant festival in the Jewish calendar. The Jewish holiday of Passover commemorates the redemption of the ancient Israelites from bondage in Egypt after being slaves for 300 years. The Bible records the Lord's command to celebrate the first Passover. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, without blemish, a male of the first year, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the doorposts of the houses wherein they shall eat it, and they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. For 3,500 years, Jews have celebrated Passover and have used the symbolism of the meal to remember the captivity and redemption of their fathers and to look forward to the Messianic age and their own final redemption. Jesus, himself a Jew, likewise used the symbolism of the Passover meal to teach his disciples about his mission as he prepared them to understand the spiritual redemption that would come from his suffering and death. Just as the blood of the Passover lamb on the doorposts of the homes of faithful Israelites had saved them from the power of the destroying angel, so the blood of the Lamb of God, shed for all on Calvary's cross, would save all who would come unto Christ from the power of sin and death. Though it is difficult to know exactly how the Last Supper took place, the Gospel writers refer to several Passover symbols during the meal and discourse that followed. Understanding this sacred holiday in its Jewish context will help us appreciate the Last Supper and the Savior's redemption on this Passover night. Tradition tells us that the day was Thursday, the first day of the Passover feast. As the evening approached, Jesus and his disciples gathered in a large upper room on Mount Zion in Jerusalem. His disciples had made preparations beforehand and the table was set with all of the necessary elements for the Passover. According to Jewish tradition, a roasted lamb would be served as the main dish in remembrance of the blood of the lamb on the doorposts of the homes, which protected their ancestors from the destroying angel. Alongside it, bitter herbs, representing the bitterness of slavery, and a mixture of chopped apples and nuts called haroset, representing the mortar used by slaves to build the wonders of Egypt. Salt water was used to recall the salty tears shed by the Israelites in slavery. Into the salt water they dipped greens, such as parsley, representing springtime, the season of Passover, the season of hope. Central to the Passover feast was the unleavened bread, or matzah, which reminded the disciples of the haste with which Israel left Egypt, their ancestors not having even enough time to allow their bread to rise. This was the bread which Christ blessed and broke and gave to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do in remembrance of me. In instituting this sacramental emblem, Jesus used one of the four cups of wine which was consumed during each Passover meal, each cup representing a unique aspect of God's promise to redeem Israel. 
During the meal, the question was asked by the youngest member, "Why is this night different from all other nights?" Whereupon the story of the redemption of Israel from captivity was told. Passover is different from all other nights, but this Passover night was truly different, for on this night Christ would redeem all his children from the slavery of sin and the bondage of death. After completing this symbolic meal, and when they had sung a hymn, Jesus and his disciples went out into the Mount of Olives, into a garden called Gethsemane. Jesus's atoning journey had begun. The true Passover Lamb had come.